House Ways and Means Committee Chairman Jason Smith out with a statement declaring Kamala Harris cannot run from Biden's record of high prices, saying the vice president has been in lockstep with every one of Joe Biden's ra- radical economic policies. Joining me now, the man himself, Missouri Congressman and Chairman of the House Ways and Means Committee, Jason Smith. Mr. Chairman, good to see you today. Thanks very much for being here. It's good to be with you, Maria. Well, you just heard Josh Shapiro, and this could be uh, Kamala Harris's running mate, uh, and he's talking about cutting corporate taxes. Is this just campaign talk, or is this actual policy that will be implemented should she go to the White House? You know, Maria, I appreciate that the governor supports uh, President Trump and also House Republicans in lowering um, rates to be more competitive with other countries. However, um, clearly, that is not where the Vice President Harris is. Vice President Harris, as you had pointed out, she didn't support the 21 percent rates that were passed in 2017. In fact, she wants to raise them seven points higher than what even Joe Biden wanted to raise them to 35 percent. And you know what, Maria? That would make us one of the highest corporate tax rates in the world. We would be 10 points higher than communist China, and we would be tied with Cuba. That's the kind of economy that Vice President Harris wants to throw on all Americans. Well, I mean, what do you make of this rewrite of history? Now we understand that they're saying, the Democrats are saying that she was never the border czar. That was never her portfolio. So she has nothing to do with the border crisis. She also says she has nothing to do with Biden's economic policy, even though she was the tiebreaker on at least two major spending packages uh, valued at two and a half trillion dollars, which of course partly led us to 40 year high inflation. She also says she's not against, the, the Democrats are also saying, no, 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 she's not against fracking either. So it's a complete different uh, agenda, although we don't really know what her agenda is. She hasn't voiced that at all. You know, she can't hide from the facts and she can't hide from her own words and her own public statements. You can go on YouTube and see every video that that counters what she's trying to say right now. What we do know, Maria, is that the Democrats will go to the extremes to make sure that they don't lose control um, over the American people and that they don't lose power. Vice President Harris, Maria, was the deciding vote was the deciding vote on the American Rescue Plan and also the Inflation Reduction Act in the United States Senate. And those two pieces of legislation led to a $10 trillion spending spree that led to inflation going up more than 20.1 percent since Vice President Harris and Joe Biden took the oath of office. Well, I want to I want to look further into that as we uh, hear more from Kamala Harris in terms of what her agenda will look like. She hasn't really given us anything. All we have is what she's been doing as vice president. And as as you say, it's been all of that. It's been no fracking. It's been higher taxes. It, it, it's been, you know, uh, certainly completely opposite when you talk about regulation uh, as President Trump. But I want to get your take on government funding, because obviously this is another black eye for Congress. Congress Congress breaking for the August recess again without passing a 2025 federal budget and the spending bills that we were expecting. Lawmakers now have until September 30th to pass those 12 spending bills to keep the government running. Where are we on this? And the national debt has reached $35 trillion for the first uh, time ever this week. Are we looking at another continuing resolution? And how come it's been so difficult to pass the spending bills that you need to? You know, Maria, the majority of the spending bills have been passed out of the House of Representatives. The Senate has not been able to even pass one. And in order to get something to the president's desk, both chambers have to do their job. Um, This is no surprise. There will not be a government shutdown. It it looks like it's going to be Groundhog Day all over again, Maria, where you'll see a CR in September that will probably go to December after the elections. And then that's when the funding bill will probably be passed. Do you think that's because the Senate is being run by the Democrats? They don't they don't want to pass anything. I absolutely believe that. I think the Democrats are wanting to see how the elections turn out and that will decide if they will come to the table to um, legislate or hold out until they they might control a different chamber. Well, that's very disturbing. Okay, that's very disturbing, Congressman. And also disturbing is what's going on with social media. Meta and Google censoring information about the assassination attempt on President Trump. Trump says they, quote, made it virtually impossible to find pictures or anything about the heinous act. Google responded to the allegations and it claims that it's 
quote unquote autocomplete search tool was not showing results for the Trump assassination attempt because there, but there was no manual action taken and that its systems have protections against autocomplete predictions associated with political violence. Google also said that its chat bot, Gemini, uh, refusing to answer questions about the assassination attempt was because of a previous policy which restricted questions on election related issues. And then there's Meta. It says that it's right now working to update its its AI assistant after it was telling users that the assassination attempt was fictional. OK, Facebook says it was an error and it's fixing the error to censor the iconic photo of Trump pumping his fist in the air after getting shot. This picture has, of course, become one of the key pictures of Trump uh, rising uh, from, you know, behind the podium after he was shot. And you couldn't even get the picture. And now they say they're trying to fix it. What, what can you do about this in terms of this censorship from social media? Is this more politics? Maria, it's an absolute disgrace of everything that you just listed. It's a disgrace that these liberal elites that control Google, um, Facebook, that they clearly use their power and influence to allow what Americans actually see and what they don't see, what information they can get. They only want the American people to get the information that will be beneficial to the liberals staying in power. Anything that could be supportive of President Trump or allow empathy for President Trump, such as the attempted assassination of President Trump, they're going to hide that. And they have proven that just with Google and also Facebook's approach. Congress needs to wake up and make sure that these huge global elitists aren't able to control the information that Americans receive. Unbelievable. I mean, how do you, as a user, how do you not go to Truth Social? How do you not go to Rumble? Knowing that these guys are lying to you over and over again, it's, it's actually, it's incredibly disturbing, uh, Congressman. Real quick before you go, let's talk about extending the tax cuts and how realistic that is in, in a Trump White House. Do you still believe uh, that Trump has an edge here over Kamala Harris, even though she's had a wild two weeks with fundraising and polling numbers uh, going up. You know, we're 97 days from the election. Without a doubt, President Trump will be elected, but we cannot be complacent. We have to keep the pedal to the floor and work really hard. Just the tax expirations alone is the reason why the American people should support Donald Trump. Uh, Vice President Harris said she's for the expiration of $7 trillion worth of tax expirations. That will be a tax increase on every hardworking American in the country. The child tax credit, for one, Maria, would be slashed in half from 2000 to 1000 if Vice President Harris has her way. The standard deduction, which 91% of Americans use to file their taxes, will be slashed in half if Vice President Harris has her way. That's why Donald Trump will be elected. That's why Americans trust him on the economy. And we can't take anything for granted. Though. All right, Congressman, we'll be watching all of this 97 days away. Thank you so much for weighing in. Good to see you, Mr. Chairman.